Oh yeah, the creature captains are nice, but we're there for the music. And for that, Woolsey is a spectacular hall. If you take the sound energy of a big orchestra and you pump it into a room that has so few absorbing uh, materials in it, then suddenly the sound bounces around and it goes into the people. It doesn't go into the carpeting. It doesn't go into the draperies. It doesn't go into the cushy sheet, seats. It goes into the people that are sitting there. And they have an experience of the music that I think is more visceral because it's like there. It's a fabulous acoustic and don't let anybody tell you. Woolsey Hall is a fabulous acoustic because it's like a European concert hall. It's exactly what European halls are. American, what does it remind you most of? The fall of the city? Oh, the, the, the concert Gebouw in Amsterdam. It's a big, long, shoebox shaped building that's quite resonant with all hard surfaces. And Americans are accustomed to these kind of cotton padded uh, you know, living rooms and they think that a dead hall is a good hall, but that's not what European concerts hall are. In Vienna, I mean, many of the halls that I've been in are as live as Wolves. So where Beethoven... Oh, yeah! yeah where Beethoven really played play. and Mozart really played is yeah, where... Oh, yeah, yeah. Mozart played in much more live rooms because Mozart did not very often play in a concert hall. But in Beethoven's time, the, the halls in, in Vienna were very live. The halls that we have now in Europe that still exist, maybe one of the oldest ones is in Sweden. Um, they're very live. What do you mean by live? Well, that it's hard surfaces. There's no comfy seats to sit in, no carpeting on the floor, the people wanted the sound energy to go into their ears, not into absorbing materials. So in Woolsey Hall we kind of time travel? We kind of time travel because the Hall's 1901, it was built as a kind of modeled on European halls.